Welcome to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. I'll be 100% completing the game, so that means a whole lot more moons to uncover. Remember to sleep well, stay hydrated, and meow it out. Enjoy. The Earth is such a beautiful place. About 70% water, 30% land, billions of people all across it. And Mario's on the moon. And Todd is right there. Hi, Toad. Hi, Todd. How are you? You be Bowser. I mean, you always do, but still, good job. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Toad. Giving us a, a star, a moon here on the moon. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's called Breaking the Fourth Wall. My name is Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Lincoln Log Larry, coming at you with that hotness of more moons and more stuff to do. Oh, boy. So, uh, it's a new day, as you can maybe tell by my shirt being different. Uh, yes, I do change shirts occasionally. And now, uh, hopefully going to finish up Mario Odyssey within the next uh, couple, of, couple of times here. You know what I mean? So, we'll see, uh, we'll see how things go here. Uh, the moons are indeed marked on the map, so I can figure out where exactly I need to go. And uh, some of these are going to be fairly easy. There's only, what, ten left? Yeah, there's like nine left. So we're going to be here not much longer, but, you know, still enough to keep it spicy. None of my lights are on in the background, man. None of these lights are on in the studio here, the office. It's all natural lighting. Oh, it's a Koopa walking sim. Okay. Oops. Well, um... Let me try my best and hope for the best. That might be it, actually. That might be it. Oh, no. Okay, well, 74 is not bad for the first time. First try of the day. Not too shabby. I'll, uh, I'll need to go for, what, 90 by the end of it, I think? Because I need to get two in a row there. We'll see. All right. So if I keep on... I took that turn a little wide right there. Okay, we'll get in a little bit tighter on that side. Uh, no, not quite. 55. Dang it. All right, let me try one more time before I have to crack the window open and get some fresh air here. You know, it may be 35 degrees outside, but it's still, you know, enough to keep everything fresh in here, you know? Let's uh, take this turn in here. That's a little lopsided, but I think it's fine. I think it's close. Oh, come on. Give that to me. Really? Uh, there we go. I'm like, ah, that might be it. Maybe, kind of. But yeah, that was it. Cool. All right. Walking on the moon. You've been hit by. You've been struck by. A smooth criminal. Oh, I got to do it again. Now it's 90, right? Uh, man. All right. Well, it's the same shape. Let me try it again. That might be the closest I've ever done that in my life. Not too shabby. Alrighty. Probably helps if you do both of them right after each other. So if you have one done, then you complete the challenge right again. That way, because you're already in like the moment, you're already in the momentum of like what you need to do. That's probably the smartest thing for you to do. And I must have already gotten the one that involves the puppy because I don't see him as a as a thing around here. You, oh, no. Don't launch off the edge. No. 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 Okay. Well, what happens now? Oh, it just respawns. Okay, cool. I'm like, where does that go? Does it just go away? Does it go wherever? Who knows, man? I don't know. All right. But luckily, that's fine. So, yes, it is a brand new day, as you can tell by the red shirt I'm wearing. Uh, and it actually being light outside for a change. Uh, obviously, usually record things at night. But now, it's like, you know what? I'll keep it spicy by recording during the daytime. Keeping things, uh, you know, not recording at 1 o'clock in the morning. Like I sometimes do. So, that's cool. 
One of them must be over here. I could have swore, well, not swearing, because this is a family-friendly program, but I could have assumed that I had already gotten this one over here, but maybe I did not. It looks like, no, it's just one that's located in the chest over there. Okay, I'll take that, thank you. And yoink. Not too bad for a distance, and wow, all right. Did I leave a lot of super easy ones in the moon? Because all the ones that we've gotten so far, I feel like I should have done already. Or did I just not go back to the moon in general? I feel like that's kind of weird if I did that, but okay. So now we got to go into the actual level, like within the, um, you know, where Bowser, you take over the statue and do all that. I do have another iced coffee. This one is uh, Irish cream flavored, which I don't even know what Irish cream tastes like anyways. I'm only going off of what I know for the, the, the flavor from Dunkin' Donuts. So, oops. Um, did I do this one? I forget, I think I did. Just to make sure, I did, I'm 99% sure. Yeah, I totally did, all right, cool. Cause that was the ones that threw me off before the first time I played the game, but luckily, uh, not an issue now. Uh, do I need to go down there? Yes, I obviously do. Wait, no, I don't. Just kidding. Go over this way. Yep, there we go. Do this. And a little bit of that action. Nice. And I kind of took that a little bit too soon. There we go. Um, I'm good. I don't need any of this stuff. It's fine. I wonder which ones I'm missing, though, because I'm missing three of them. So clearly something is off here. I don't know what. And clearly it's the... The dr flying dry bones, the para dry bones, I should say. Get them out of here. Go. Get. No. Stop. Stop. Really? Okay. Oh, I need the key. There's a key. Wait. Hold on. There's a key situation. I didn't even realize there was a key. All right. Hold on. I gotta go back down here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Where's the key? It might be back over here. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure it's not, but you never know. Or is it, oh, there's actually some that I missed over there. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna restart this level, just die, and then jump over there, grab those, and do it all that way. Because that's gonna be the most efficient way for me to do that. And I don't know where this key is. So that's gonna be great. And how would I even get over there? Would I have to launch off of there? Wow, all right, that's uh, that's a little risky, but sure, okay. And there's nothing else down here that I would need, right? Because obviously I can take over the pair of dry bones here, but no, uh, nothing on that side. I, I'm pretty sure there was nothing on that side anyways. Let me figure out what the key situation is and fly. You know what, it might be behind one of these pillars actually. Just kind of waiting here, no. Not over there. It's got to be obviously somewhere. Somewhere I'm not factoring in. In here. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, there we go. I'm so smart. I ain't even need to look that one up. I was just flying around. I'm like, you know what? There's got to be something I'm missing. You know? There's got to be one little itty bitty thing. And you know what? A hole right there is not even necessarily out of character for, like, one of those lava sections. Like, it makes sense that, uh, that there's going to be lava there, but how on earth am I getting over there, dude? Would I... Oh, Bullet Bill! Bullet Bill's got to go all the way down that way, right? I'm 95% sure that's what needs to happen, which is going to be a massive, massive pain. But, you know, that's okay. Uh, let's... Nope, that's not what I want to do. No, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Do this all fancy-like. Yeah, there we go. Uh, can I do this fancy? I probably can. Just to see how it goes here. Nope, okay. Not too, uh, fancy-like. Yep, okay. That's a bit much. Yes, sir, okay. Go over here. Recoup the coins. Well, rather, I don't need the coins. I need hearts, rather. But, obviously, can't grab those right now. Yep, and yes, sir. There we go. Ho-ho. 
There it is. All right. So, yeah, for those purple coins, I need to clearly get a bullet bill and go all the way over there. Which I don't know if I feel like doing that right now, man. You know? I just kind of don't feel like it. How many are left? Okay, nine? No. Four. What am I talking about? I'm looking at the... I'm looking at the blue, or the purple coins, rather. But there's two left inside of here. So we'll see how far I can actually get with that. I believe I have done that one way over there already. Uh, pro tip, you can check by doing uh, down on the D-pad, and you can, like, zoom in via this. Uh, okay, you can't actually see. I'm pretty sure I've done it before, though. Uh, let me... You know what? Let me go through this area and try to find the other ones before I try... To get to that one, all right? Ah, well then, <laughs> I'm gonna need to go back for that one. But I can, yes, I can. Hello, Mr. Bullet Bill. Hello, Bullet, a oh, William. Thank you. Go, 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 go. I got it. It's fine. Wait, just kidding. Ooh, it was close. It was close, but I got it. I can't make that. Now, I have enough confidence in myself to know when I can and cannot make things. That one, I definitely cannot make. You, William, William, stop it, William. All right, but this will not be too big of an issue. Right over here, boink. There we go. There should be one left in here somewhere. Again, I doubt it's the one that's way over there, but it's definitely around here. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> You can basically... Oh, no, Mario. You can basically avoid the boss battle that way. Huh. Cool. Well, if you really wanted to, you could. Yoink. That was a lot of commotion to get those three coins, but there you go. There's one on top of here. I did need to look that one up because I would not have gotten that one without knowing that. So, oops. To remain, right? Yes, ma'am. Let's go up here and go to Honeymoon Ridge. I was going to say Honeymoon Lidge, but that would not be correct. So it's actually inside of the chapel, uh, one in which I will be in in a couple of months. Not for me, but for uh, my friends Dan and Eleanor. They're getting married. Very excited about that one. Oh, we're going back to the Wooded Kingdom, I see. Okay. Well, there's one. And the other one, I believe, is an outfit change, right? Yes, a doctor. I need a doctor. Call me a doctor. I told the world one day I would play it back. Say it on tape and lay it recorded so that one day I could play it back. But I don't even know if I believe it when I'm saying that. That's not a song any of you know. But we're going to go to the Wooded Kingdom now and get the final moon in the Moon Kingdom, technically, even though it's not in the Moon Kingdom, but you get what I mean. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. Dollar, dollar. Bling, bling, dollar, dollar. Here. Yeah. Moon Kingdom complete, baby. All right. That means there's one of the main worlds left that is the dark side which is gonna be difficult, but I'm excited to actually beat that and conquer whatever is gonna come our way, all right? It's not a very large kingdom, but a cool kingdom nonetheless. So let's head over there and begin the dark side of the moon. My name is Brian Saviano, AKA Bricks O'Brien. I'll see you again next time for more of uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Yes, there are six, nope, there's eight remaining. Eight remain. Let's see how well I can conquer these. So as it turns out, the ones that remain of the Dark Side Kingdom are the art ones. So I'm going to kick it to no commentary, just showing you what the art ones are. If you want to skip out on those, go ahead. But I wanted to let you know that's what those are, so you can actually see me getting them on camera. And then next time I see you, we're going to the Mushroom Kingdom to wrap this playthrough up, at least until we get all of the purple coins. So I'll see you again next time. Enjoy the dark side art.
Just kidding, you're getting a bit more commentary here from Brian from the future. Oh, isn't that just always the best? You know, you know you gotta love a little future Brian and past Brian. Past Brian is still good. And I'm sure by the time you're watching this in whatever month or year you're watching this, I'm still doing good. You know, that's usually how it goes. So, yeah, a lot of these here uh, taking place on the dark side of the moon. Very annoying going from kingdom to kingdom again. So I made a, a grave mistake doing that twice throughout the entire playthrough. So uh, my apologies on that one. Uh, I went really right back into this whole thing, not knowing anything, as I say, multiple, multiple times. But that's just uh, what happens when you don't play a game for like a year and a half, and you're like, you know what? I forgot this thing and that thing. So a lot of these are tricky, too. I, I don't know how you would figure these out if you had a guide. And this is coming from someone who's 100% at the game twice. So if you find yourself not able to, to do one of these hidden moons, don't blame yourself, man. These are difficult. All right. Well, have a great day. See you later. Meow, meow.